What did you do? What did you do to this town? Oh, I was very generous with this town. One demon for every able-bodied man. And the rest of them? In there. I know, it's awful, but these horsemen are so demanding. You'll have to excuse me. Midnight is calling, and I have a ritual to finish. Don't go anywhere. Not that you could if you would. Tora zo du zo da mo. Now repeat after me. We offer up our lives, blood, soul. We offer up our lives, blood, souls. To complete this tribute. To complete this tribute. What? They're just demons. De fixi. Nuc et in eternum. Don't tell me that's Kezo. Yeah, yes. Kezo and uh, the Kitos, the Malice, homemade by yours truly. I know you know what this is. I know you know what it can do. I've tried to fight it. I've tried to beat it on my own. And I, I can't. I got no moves left, except you. Well, I never thought I'd see the day. My goodness, Dean Winchester has tipped over his king. But I won't kill you, Dean. Your death. And that mark on your arm is the first curse. Nothing can kill you. Okay, well, forget killing me. Can you get rid of it? I could. But? Creatio ex nihilo. God created the earth out of nothing. Oh, so your Sunday school teacher would have you believe. Well, so Genesis is a lie? Eh? Shocker. Before there was light, before there was God and the archangels, there wasn't nothing. There was the darkness, a horribly destructive, amoral force that was beaten back by God and his archangels in a terrible war. God locked the darkness away where it could do no harm, and he created a mark that would serve as both lock and key which he entrusted to his most valued lieutenant, Lucifer. But the mark began to assert its own will, revealed itself as a curse, and began to corrupt. Lucifer became jealous of man. God banished Lucifer to hell. Lucifer passed the mark to Cain, who passed the mark to you, the proverbial finger in the dike. Well, that is just fan freaking tastic, isn't it? So I could remove the mark, but only if you will share it with another to ensure that the lock remains unbroken and the darkness remains bound. I'm not doing that. Not to anyone. What if I told you I could relocate you somewhere far away, not even on this earth, 
where you'll still be alive, but no longer a danger to yourself or to others. Sit. Well, what's with you and cheap food? I could ask you the same thing. Thought I'd have a treat before I put the ring back on. Heavier than it looks, isn't it? Sometimes you just want the thing off. But you know that. Not hungry. Look, I think you know that I flopped. So there. Oh, by the way, I, uh, I sucked being you. They really screwed up the whole natural order thing, but I'm sure you knew about that too. So if you could go back, would you simply kill the little girl? No fuss, no stomping your feet. Know what I know now, yeah. I'm surprised to hear that. Surprised and glad. Yeah, well, don't get excited. I would have saved the nurse, okay? That's it. I think it's a little more than that. Today, you got a hard look behind the curtain. Wrecking the natural order is not quite such fun when you have to mop up the mess, is it? This is hard for you, Dean. You throw away your life because you've come to assume that it'll bounce right back into your lap. The human soul is not a rubber ball. It's vulnerable, impermanent, but stronger than you know, and more valuable than you can imagine. So, I think you've learned something today. I don't know what I think. I think you knew that I wouldn't last a day. I have no idea what you're talking about. I lost, fine. But at least have the balls to admit that it was rigged from the jump. Most people speak to me with more respect. I didn't mean we're done here. It's been lovely. But now I'm going to go to hell to get your brother's soul. Why would you do that for me? I wouldn't do it for you. You and your brother keep coming back. You're an affront to the balance of the universe, and you cause disruption on a global scale. Apologize for that. But you have use. Right now, you're digging at something. The intrepid detective. I want you to keep digging, Dean. So you're just gonna be cryptic, or...? It's about the souls. You'll understand when you need to. Wait. With Sam, is this wall thing really gonna work? Call it 75%. Bobby! Open the door. What happened? Now! Get away from me! You don't know what'll happen to me. Dean, please. No, no. No. Get!
Thanks for returning that. Join me, Dean. The pizza's delicious. So is this the part where... <clears throat> where you kill me? You have an inflated sense of your importance. To a thing like me, a thing like you, well... Think how you'd feel if a bacterium sat at your table and started to get snarky. This is one little planet, and one tiny solar system, in a galaxy that's barely out of its diapers. I'm old, Dean. Very old. So I invite you to contemplate how insignificant I find you. How old are you? As old as God. Maybe older. Neither of us can remember anymore. Life, death, chicken, egg. Regardless, at the end, I reap him too. God? You'll reap God? Oh, yes. God will die too, Dean. Well, this is way above my pay grade. Just a bit. So then why am I still breathing? I'm sitting here with you. I mean, what do you want? The leash around my neck, off. Lucifer has me bound to him some unseemly little spell. He has me where he wants, when he wants. That's why I couldn't go to you. I had to wait for you to catch up. He made me his weapon. Hurricanes, floods, raising the dead. I'm more powerful than you can process, and I'm enslaved to a bratty child having a tantrum. Did you think I can unbind you? There's your ridiculous bravado again. Of course you can't. But you can help me take the bullets out of Lucifer's gun. I understand you want this. Yeah? I'm inclined to give it to you. To give it to me? That's what I said. But what about... Chicago. I suppose it can stay. I like the pizza. Te nunc in voco mortem. Te in mea potestate defixi. Nunc et en Eternum. Um, hello? Death? You're joking. <laughs> Sorry, Death. This isn't what it seems. Seems like you bound me. For good reason, okay? Just uh, hear us out. Um, fried pickle chip? Uh, the best in the state. That easy to soothe me, you think? This is about Sam's hallucinations, I assume. What? Sorry, Sam. One wall per customer. Now unbind me. We can't. Y yet. This isn't going to end well. We need you to kill God. Pardon? Kill God. You heard right. Your honor. What makes you think I can do that? You told me. Why should I? Because we said so, and we're the boss of you. I mean, respectfully. Amazing. Yes.
I didn't want to kill you, but now... You can't kill us. You've erased any nostalgia I had for you, Dave. Death is our... B we ain't gonna die even if God pulls the trigger. Annoying little protozoa, aren't they? God? You look awfully like a mutated angel to me. Your vessel's melting. You're going to explode. No, I'm not. When I finished my work, I'll repair myself. You think you can because you think you're simply under the weight of all those souls, yes? But that's not the worst problem. There are things much older than souls in purgatory, and you gulp those in too. Irrelevant. I control them. For the moment. W wait, oh, uh, what older things? Long before God created angel and man, he made the first beasts. The Leviathans. Leviathans? I personally found them entertaining, but he was concerned they'd chomp the entire Petri dish, so he locked them away. Why do you think he created purgatory? To keep those clever, poisonous things out. Now Castiel has swallowed them. He's the one thin membrane between the old ones and your home. Enough. Stupid little soldier you are. Why? Because I dared open a door that he shut? Where is he? I did a service taking his place. Service? Settling petty vendettas? No. I'm cleaning up one mess after another, selflessly. Quite a humanitarian. And how would you know? What are you, really? A fly swatter? Destined to swat you, I think. Unless I take you first. Rooney bought his own press, this one. Please, Cass. I know God. And you, sir, are no God. All right, put your junk away, both of you. But call him what you want. Just kill him now! All right, fine. Thank you. Should we kick box now? I had a tingle I'd be reaping someone very, very soon. Don't worry, not you. Well, he was in a hurry. Walking, pal. Nothing lasts forever. Well, I do, but... Great. What's the bet? Don't roll your eyes, Dean. It's impolite. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace.